All right, this video is going to be about uh, OBS. Um, I wanted to kind of show how these settings work and how you can use it uh, to make videos because I was watching this one guy's channel and he's using a cell phone to record the laptop screen and I was thinking man why don't he just use OBS it's really simple so he saw that little crappy um, intro that I just put together so here I got the different scenes and I can switch through these scenes you just add a scene just like that and then you uh, configure the scene you go into the settings I'm gonna try to show this because see I'm recording so to add um, screen capture you just click on this on say like your one on on your first scene here you want the screen capture so here's my screen capture and I come over here to the plus and I pick a screen capture and so I would need also need audio so no this is the audio so here's my screen capture then I add the audio you can add audio in here but if you're going to use different scenes um, it's not really going to switch with off if you needed to switch off with that scene it'll keep running so if you want to use scenes select the audio from here so here I selected my audio input and you just gotta find yours you know to your mic set your mic up on your sound and then you come in here and hotkeys so I got mine start on alt C that's gonna start the recording and also have it when it starts the recording it's also gonna start scene one so when I start you that scene one you've seen at the beginning is gonna is gonna start with alt C then I have seen my scene that you're seeing now the screen capture on alt Z so when I switch to alt Z that's what you're watching now with my sound so you see I have my sound in here and on this one I don't have no sound I just have that uh, intro that you saw and then on scene 2 which is alt A I switch to alt A to end the video I'll you know I'll say okay that's it and then I hit alt A it'll put my ending intro and then I can push alt X to kill it out so there's all my key commands that's how I have it set up and I threw that little intro together real quick just to show you and so now if I go back to if I hit alt and A it'll go to the end uh, intro and let's see how it works so now I'm back on alt Z so there's the end intro and if I hit uh, the other one right now it probably will stop the recording but uh, once you got the scene intro in here for your scenes you just come up here and media source click on the media source and then you can open up your media whatever your little intro is just to browse through your uh, wherever you got your little media video the intro you just click on that and there's all the kind of file types it'll select and then uh, it'll say restart playback when source becomes active and so that's just the way I have it right there and when that uh, when I click to um, you click on that scene it becomes active and it starts playing the uh, little scene I mean is that is that easy so when I go to, uh, when I first fire this thing up I make sure it's on uh, like scene 2 so and then when I hit alt and C it's gonna go to scene 1 which is my beginning intro and let me see if I can switch So you see my beginning intro there. So when I when I first click Alt, Alt and C, it's going to start recording. Go to that intro, 
and then I'm going to wait a couple seconds and then I'm going to hit Alt Z which is going to bring me to the screen so I'll be on live talking with my sound and everything you'll hear my voice and then when I end it I'm going to hit Alt and A so that'll be my end intro and those are just two little intros that I threw together just to make this video um, so that's you know and then you come in here and you you just put your hot keys so again mine is to start the recording alt C go to my in first intro alt C so these are gonna start right when it starts recording it's gonna go into that first intro then I'm gonna do a count I'm gonna go one two three four however long your intro is and then I'm gonna go to Z this is my screen capture so I'll be you know you'll hear my voice and when I start recording and everything and then when I'm ready to end the video I go to alt a and that's my it'll go to my end intro and then I wait a few seconds and then I go alt X which is going to stop the recording and then I have a seamless recorder um, a recording and I don't have to throw it in no video editor and do all that stuff it's ready right after I click uh, end it'll be right there in my video folder I can upload it to YouTube it's ready to play don't have to edit it all that stuff and so that's really all you need to know and this is a free little program it's for Windows it's for Linux download it it's free and once you get in here and really start messing with all these settings Let's see, I got this thing on, uh, I, I watched a video from English Bob, he told me what settings to put it, put it on. Um, video bit rate, I got it on 15, uh, just to make the size a little smaller. The encoder on that X264, and then I just got it on the recording format MP4. And down here, it's uh, you can't switch it now, but uh, when it's not recording, this one right here mp4 I mean you can leave it on 25 the default was 25 but just to make the uh, size of the uh, video a little bit smaller you know quicker to upload and these settings here I got it on uh, 1280 by 720 the output resolution let me see if I can scroll in on that 1280 and then I got the down side step down scale filter at 32 sample 30 frames per second and let's see what was that other one again the output you see I got it on mp4 here and that's about it and then you got all your hotkeys set up um, that's how I got mine on there and now when I'm ready to end this video here um, I just push alt a go to my end intro and then alt x and it ends the video and it's done I don't have to go into a uh, video editor and edit it it's right there on my uh, computer all I do is turn around upload it to YouTube and it's ready to go so that's about it really I mean here's your audio you could do is on scene let's say your first scene put your screen capture and your audio get your audio for your voice your mic you know just come in here and set up your mic or whatever your mic is here's all the settings for it you hook up your mic get the screen capture comes right on this is your scene one your scene two get that all correct get all your key commands correct and you're ready to go so I don't know um, pretty easy to me um, I hope this video helps somebody that's trying to use it. I mean, I don't, I don't really know all the streaming. It's got all kind of other settings in here for streaming. Uh, you know, go on Twitch. I don't even use Twitch, but um, you know, it's got other settings here. I don't really use the sound audio settings from here because I'm using the scenes. See, if I had the audio turned on here, it's always going to stay on if I go to another scene. So I wanted to be able to switch the audio and then all these settings here is basically the only thing I messed with in here 
I just left all that. I put this on 15 and this on MP4. Set up my hotkeys, put the video settings, and then that's it. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope this video helps somebody. Um, I'm going to probably leave a link. Uh, of this video that I'm making here on his channel so maybe he can uh, download it and try it out for his channel um, because he's really making some good videos but he's using a cell phone um, in front of the computer screen so yeah I guess I want to wrap this up here I don't really know what else to say about it but it's a free program and it works for Windows it works for Linux so um, I think it works for Apple too. I'm gonna look on the website again. But yeah, I just want to wrap this up here. Alright y'all.